it's a very good evening and welcome back to another pre-match show as always i'd like to thank you all for joining us in this one i'm going to be joined by my colleague paul joanu later as we look back to saturday's nil nil draw at the Bankses against rochdale which was played in front of just over 6100 fans speaking of the fans we are going to be joined by more than 1550 of you here at vale park this evening for tonight's 7:45 kickoff those of you that are joining us we hope you've had a safe journey here and you'll be housed in the stand which is just behind me if you aren't joining us this evening here at Vale Park you will be joining myself and Steve Herman from BBC WM the game will be live on iFollow for just £10 we're going to take a look back at a previous fixture here we're going back to last season's fixture where two goals from Elijah Adebayo secured the Saddlers a 3-1 win So that was last season's victory here at Vale Park from a Saddler's perspective, with Elijah Adebayo scoring two goals in the win. We're now going to take a look at the previous six results for both sides in all competitions. As you can see, Port Vale have picked up four wins in their last six games, but they are without a win in their last two, losing last time out 3-2 at Oldham Athletic. The Saddlers, however, are also without wins previously. They haven't won in their last three three games but that's not to say that they're not coming into this one in good form with their away form being fantastic with them being unbeaten in their last six games on the road that was the previous six games in all competitions for both sides and now looking at the table coming into tonight's game we see that our hosts Port Vale are currently in an automatic promotion spot in third place we go all the way down the table into 15th where the Saddlers lie smack bang in the middle of the table but coming into this one they will be high on hopes of getting a positive result here with like I said them being unbeaten in their last six away games in all competitions so that was a look at the Skybet League 2 table ahead of this evening's 7.45 kickoff here at Vale Park. I'm now joined by my colleague Paul Joanu. Paul, before we look ahead to tonight's enticing fixture here, we'll go back to Saturday's game. It was a nil-nil draw and I mentioned after the game to head coach Matt Taylor that it was a platform to build on. I mentioned perfect platform, not quite what he would have liked, but a platform nonetheless to build on coming into this game. Absolutely, Tom. I think you often build from your defence, don't you? And the defence kept a clean sheet on Saturday, which was which was important, especially after you know a, a disappointing defeat against Harrogate. I think it was important not to make make it back-to-back -back defeats because losing can become a habit, and you know the Saddlers at least have ensured it 
wasn't going to start perhaps a losing run they've halted that they got a nil nil draw against Rochdale and had chances to win it like they did in the first half you know looking back George Miller had a couple of really good chances in the first half and I think Joss Labley had one in the second half although Rochdale played their part as well didn't they with Corey O'Keefe in the bar so there was plenty of action in the game but in the end I felt a draw was probably a fair reflection of what happened in the game I think Joss Labadie said that as well didn't he when he spoke to us after the game so all in all um, something to build on as you say Tom you know a point a clean sheet there were chances there so there were, there were, there were nuggets there for the Saddlers to work on coming into um, tonight's fixture against Port Vale which um, I think has got a bit of excitement going yeah it, it was certainly one of those where if you looked at it on if you were inside the stadium nil nil was it was probably one of the more entertaining nil nils but nonetheless there were chances in it for the Saddlers to, to pick up more than a point weren't there yeah there were Tom that, yeah, like I said there was the two George Miller opportunities I think were probably the the best opportunities particularly the first one um, you know the goalkeeper makes the save as well so there, there were chances there and I think you'd be disappointed when or worried rather when you're not creating chances I think in pretty much every game the Saddlers are creating those chances so you, you can see that what they're trying to do and let's hope they can build on that and improve on that this evening against Port Vale and, and right the wrongs from Saturday not that there were too many yeah it's uh, I mentioned it, it's certainly an in, enticing fixture it's certainly one that we're you know as a media team have certainly really looked forward to and it's one that the fans have highlighted but Matt Taylor said after the game that it's for him this is just you know it's another game in his mind it's another one where three points are on offer but deep down the squad know and he knows exactly what this means to the football club and the fans that are going to be back in the club this evening absolutely Tom and he alluded to that as well in his interview so he knows how much it means to the football club the players will be ready the players know how much this means to, to, to the fans and to the club but also uh, as Matt Taylor rightly says it is about picking up the three points because in the last two league, league games the Saddlers have picked up one from the last six so they need to get back to picking up three points again and ensure that they, they can climb up that league table because it's very very tight I think it's five points to the top seven so get that victory tonight there's there's the carrot there's the incentive you can really close in on those those upper upper places where, where all the rewards are obviously they had a good six game league and beat and run and then uh, we broke for the, the couple of cup matches we had against uh, Kingsland and Forest Green and it felt like an eternity until we played in the league again against Harrogate so Saddlers need to get back to winning ways in Skybet League 2 and this is an important game tonight for, for so many reasons. Yeah, they do, but away from home as well in all competitions. You know, I mentioned it earlier when you know, we looked at the, the form guides and everything like that. The Saddlers are unbeaten in six away from home in all competitions. I think it's three wins you know, in the last three away from home. and you know, Being able to build on that and being able to be a force to be reckoned with away from home is certainly something that Matt wants to bring to this side. It is, Tom, and I think this season has been about building blocks and sort of ticking off boxes. I think the elusive away win was something that we had to wait for until October. Other things were being ticked off, so the first win, first couple of goals for people, first clean sheet, and then once that started to come, then the away win came. I think it was at Oldham, and then since since then, the Saddles have gone a really good run away from home, and you know they're picking up points consistently. So that away form has picked up. So it seems to be block after block after block so I think it's now about getting that consistency that ruthlessness I think that's that's the next step for this team to take so hopefully we can start to see that come to fruit tonight and you know Carlisle on Saturday and, and the games beyond that because there's a lot coming up yeah and Port Vale are in third I mentioned they're in the, the automatic you know promotion places they're not there for you know by hook or by crook you know they're a very good side in this division so far our former manager Daryl Clark has certainly got them ticking I think it's eight games unbeaten at home you know in all competitions I think in that there's seven wins you know they are a very good side at home aren't they they are I think I remember when Daryl was here he, he used to say you need to get your home form right in this division it's very important and that's certainly what they've got here I think it's just as you say Tom not many do it's just one defeat in the league here I believe so their home form is very good here at Vale Park and uh, you know you look at their squad there's so many talented players with the likes of Dave Worrell Tom Conlon you know they've got dangerous players but, but so have the Saddlers so it's, it's all made for, for a really good game and you know it's as close as to a local derby as you're going to get in this division for, for both sides so um, there's plenty riding on it so I'm really looking forward to it I'm so excited I just want the game to start now yeah it, it's one of those we've 
often talked, you know, in the build up to this one, I, I mentioned you almost circle this as a fan, as a, a, a club, as the one that you're looking forward to, especially away from home. And, you know, we could be talking about 1,600 plus fans in the stand just off over to our left hand side as we sat here in the, in the dugouts. But we always mention the support, but on a Tuesday night, I know it's only just an hour down the road, but wow, it's, it's brilliant. It's, it's superb, Tom. It's a Tuesday night, it's November, it's raining, it's dark, it's horrible. But they're coming out, they're braving the cold in their numbers. As you say, I'm sure many of them would have circled it back in June and book, booked the day off in advance because it's one, one of the games all the fans are looking forward to just, just as much as we are. So it's fantastic to see our, our highest away following of the season, nearly 1,600 hopefully. It, it's going to be amazing. I, I can't wait to hear them make so much noise and you know really get behind the boys and hopefully push them to um, what would be an, an important three points. Points. Yeah, and if you're not joining us here this evening at Vale Park, you are able to do so, like I mentioned earlier, live on iFollow with myself and BBC WM Steve Herman. We'll be live from just before kickoff. So if you are tuning in, make sure you get in touch with us across our social media channels. But if you are here this evening, make sure you tweet us your pictures or send us to the send them to us on our Facebook page. That leaves me with one final thing to say. Make sure you're singing loud, you're singing proud, and come on you saddlers. <laughs>